Hey guys, it's Rick. Welcome back to a game San Andreas actually gives a crap about. And, uh, here we go. Yes, we are in oh, yes. son of a kill the son of a bitch. It's time to finish this. Quit interrupting me, goddammit. Anyway. So, um wow, that's pretty much unhackable. Um I've it's been a while since I've been here. Obviously. I see Cohen's lost his touch. Did you know when? Hephaestus. in that Neverland, waiting for someone to come and tell him he still got it. I suppose that's why he let you live. Hello. Uh, let's not do that right now. Nope. Where'd the other guy go? I see you, Electric. He's got electric skin. Okay, that means I can't shock him. That is annoying. I forgot there are enemies like that in here. Fire. I'm just gonna go deal with you like this. Face roll. Yeah, we're gonna start coming across a lot more elemental splicers now. And the way you deal with them is as appropriate. If they are immune to electricity, well, you're kinda screwed. Um, considering the strategy I like to use. I'm going to take a quick smoke really quick. And I'm good. So, here we are. Hephaestus. And we are going to go kill Andrew Ryan and shove this wrench into his fat face. And it will be a great day. Great, great day. Ugh. So, I hope you're all doing great. I am recording this, as per usual, very, very late in the day, because that's when I do my best recording! You can taste it, can't you? Andrew Ryan. I would rather you not. I don't want to taste Andrew Ryan. Another thing we're going to end up coming across now is a lot of explosive barrels, first of all, which we're going to use to blow ourselves up because I totally don't remember how to use more than one barrel for things. I'll send you blood. Ah, blood. But heck, I can still shot people with this wrench. Headshots in the face with a wrench. Buka, 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 buka. That's a useful talent, and I'm hoping that I don't forget how to do that. Son of a bitch! No! No, 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 no. Uh, ow! Oh, I'm accidentally opening that door. Whoops. Let me go around the side. And... Thank you. All right. Dollars, frag grenade, storage crate. <laughs> Diary. Ryan nationalized Fontaine Futuristics. He owns it now, lock, stock, and barrel. For the good of the sea, he says. He'll break it up in due time, he says. Not resigned. Oh, God, I haven't so opened this in forever. It's just missing in the wind. It'd be war, I say. There's somebody stopping Ryan. Ride fast. Aww. Short, short circuit in my butt. Oh wow, that's difficult. Uh, hope this doesn't kill me. That would be slightly annoying. <laughs> Some bitch. Come on. <laughs> Yes. Welcome to the 
get, get. That's all I wanted. A couple hypos for the road. Get over this. Thank you. Okay. So, um, strategy for this level. I think I was talking about it before. There's a lot of barrels, uh, so telekinesis is pretty good on this level. Um, another strategy, or another thing you gotta kind of be worried about is... Um, there are going to be a lot of splicers that are not actually dead, but they're pretending to be dead anyway on this level. They kind of pop up when you try to loot their corpses. And those will end up scaring the shit out of me. And I will notify you if I run across one of those with a very loud scream. Okay. And, um, make sure you get your sound turned out. Well, present. <laughs> You like it. If you take this grenade launcher, you will get swarmed by about, uh, I think, four or five splicers. And really, the payoff is not worth the effort, so I'm going to ignore that on this difficulty setting. Oh, I just remembered. I'm playing this on hard without the freaking back to chambers enabled. Oh boy! Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, just do that really quick! Because, uh, that's, uh, what I'm doing. Bzzz. Oh. There we go. Manama. Manama. Increase flow speed. Okay. You invent station. Let's see if we can make anything. Uh. No, maybe. Let's hack it. Uh, okay, this might be bad. Okay, I need to go here. I need to go here. Probably said something about this before, but you can come across an impossible situation with these things. In which case, you just gotta suck it up and take the damage. Like, that was almost an impossible situation. I had exactly what I needed to do that. But, um... That was good that we didn't have to worry about getting the dead. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some trap bolts, because I'm going to need those. Um, we don't have enough for bloodlust yet, which is unfortunate. What we need for bloodlust is three more glue. So if I find glue, I'm going to be very happy. I'm going to remember that I've hacked that one, and I can come back and use it later. Because I think you really only need one of those per level. And I am suddenly doing really freaking good on first aid kits. Oh shit. Hang on. The world looks up and sees the face of God. But look around. It's a regular convention of worms in here. They all had mothers, fathers, people who loved them. They got married. I want right there. I want right there, please. Please give me give me right there. Because I want to be beside that chick and that chick. Because I'm a player. Okay. So this is Ryan's wall of infidels, I guess. Is a good thing to call it. And I don't know why they're all like stuck out there, but hey. Um Kind of debating pulling out my grenade launcher just to see. See, 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 see. Can I get a proximity mine? Yeah, I can. All right. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and proximity mine that door, because I do not trust all those people talking, and I don't want them to come in on me and be all like, ah, la, 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 right in the middle of doing this. But anyway, here we go. 
Now, we found a audio diary on this specific corpse, and this actually belongs to McDawn, um, who we've gotten a lot of recordings from, so this is him. I don't know if killing Mr. Ryan will stop the war, but I know it won't stop while that man breathes. I love Mr. Ryan. 